how do you make your school life easier? We've got an answer. Check out our new video. We'll show you some awesome tips and tricks for school and even tell you how to make some sneaky cheat sheets that your teacher will never catch. Do you enjoy painting classes? Let's make a case for our acrylic paint tubes in the shape of an acrylic paint tube? We'll need a sock with a fine pattern and a toilet paper roll. Cut off the top and the bottom parts of the sock. Slide the sock onto the paper roll. Attach one side of the sock with a rubber band and the other with some hot glue. Take a cap from an old shampoo bottle. Push a ribbon through the opening to get a loop. Attach it to the top of the case. Glue the loop and a button onto the case. Mark the case with a colorful label so that we know what's inside. Put the tubes of acrylic paint inside the case. Now the paint is always at hand and in order. Now let's make a holder for our important notes. Use some straws and strings. Trim the straws to the needed length. Slide them onto the string. Loop back the rest of the string inside to form a square with our straws. Make another identical square. Finish our construction with a rooftop by putting together two straws. Attach our notes and pictures with some pins. Hang the holder on the wall and you will always be able to see your important information. We got a little carried away while drawing, so now all of our fingers are covered in marker stains. But we know what to do. Just dip a Q-tip into some nail polish remover and use it to rub off the stains. The marker stains dissolve right away. Need a knife to cut some paper, but the stationery shop is already closed? Not a problem. Unscrew a pencil sharpener and take out the blade. Stick the blade in a binding clip. Our improvised knife is ready. It gets the job done. Are your papers all mixed up again? And you don't have any paper clips or stapler? Our next hack will help you out. Stack up the sheets in order. Make a cut in the upper corner of the stack. Fold in the corners and pull them through the gap. The pages are securely fixed in place. My pen was here somewhere. Ouch! These spiky pins have again invaded the pencil case. It's time to set them straight. Get an eraser and stick all of your pens in it. It's like a hedgehog turned inside out. This pen holder will protect you from their spikes. Using an optical illusion, let's trick the teacher into believing that we've only got one ruler instead of two. Join the two rulers together with some tape. Now it can unfold. Place our cheat sheet between the two rulers. Lift up the upper piece and quickly get a sneak peek of your notes while the teacher isn't looking. Did the eraser on the end of the pencil run out just when you needed it? We know how to get a bit more out of it. Get a pencil sharpener and insert the pencil from the eraser side in it. Carefully turn, cutting off bits of the metal enclosure in the process. We can still use the eraser for a bit longer. Has the pen stopped writing even though there's still ink left in it? We've got a hack for that. Take a lighter and heat up the tip of the pen. Test it out and the pen is working again. Is your marker not writing? We'll need some perfume. Just spray a bit of perfume on the tip of the marker. It's working as good as new and the writings have a good smell to them. Your album sheets are getting all worn out inside your bag. We need to fix that. Take a tube can left over from some chips. Wrap it with some craft paper. Attach a ribbon to the ends of the tube so that it's easier to transport. Now we can roll up our sheets and keep them in our handmade storage tube. Take a sheet of paper and a pen. It's a test, a phrase that always gives you the shivers. We'll show you how to carefully take out a sheet of paper from your notebook without damaging your manicure. Get a pen and carefully hook the clip with the nozzle of the pen. Just like that, you can take out the sheet of paper without damaging it or your nails. 
Remember this scenario? You're sitting there, minding your own business, trying to take a glance at your cheat sheet, when suddenly, Miss Smith! We'll share with you a secret technique of how to make a cheat sheet that has been passed on from generation to generation. Take a strip of paper not wider than an ordinary match. Write down the needed information on it. Glue the ends of the paper to two matches. Roll up the paper strip into a mini scroll. Now we can discreetly cheat on our test. We are going to need a plastic bottle for our next cheat sheet. Take off the branding band. Get a piece of paper a bit smaller than the band and write down our information on it. Glue the piece of paper to the band and put the branding band back in place. Glue the ends. Now you can see the text of the cheat sheet on the inside of the bottle. Here's another cheat sheet that doesn't need any additional supplies. Get a notebook with a transparent cover and draw out the formulas with a toothpick. We can clearly see the formulas if we look at the cover at an angle. It's better not to give your notebook to the teacher in this case. And such monster organizers will not only bring order to the table, but also will cheer you up. Take a glass jar from baby food and cover it with scrapbooking tape. Screw on the cover. Make several bright jars just like that. Attach a white paper circle to the jar with a glue stick. Glue on a blue pupil. Draw details with the marker. Done! And here are two more monsters. These mini organizers can hold clips, buttons, and other office supplies. Real monsters of order! Let's call James P. Sully Sullivan from Monsters, Inc. to keep them company. Here's an idea for a notebook folder with a soft, anti-stress cover. You need a folder and a microfiber cloth with a noodly texture. Using a hot glue gun, attach the cloth to the cover of the folder. Cut off the excess. Wrap and glue the edges. Cut out the details of the monster's face from pieces of white and a black foam rubber sheet. Use a yellow foam rubber sheet to make horns. Attach pieces of the foam rubber sheet to the blue noodles. Put a notebook in the folder. What a nice coat this monster has! Sully turned out to be a real cutie! An ordinary ballpoint pen today won't surprise anyone. Let's share an idea of an original decoration in the form of a rare mountain mineral. You need two plates with sea salt, a plain one, and a dyed one. Put hot glue on the body of a pen and dip it into the salt plates, alternating each time. Particles of salt stick and create a very interesting effect. Cover the crystal surface with a clear nail polish. Sprinkle glitter on top. Install a shining top on a droplet of hot glue. The crystals and sparkles beautifully shimmer in the light. It looks very unique. You won't find another pen like this one. Let's turn a boring stand for papers into a nice cozy house. To start, trim the top of the folder like this. Using a glue stick, paste pink paper with hearts all over the house. Decorate corners with a strict decorative tape. Create a window from ice cream sticks and glitter paper. Place a province style door under the window. Decorate the folder with a shiny roof. The cute house organizer fits perfectly into your interior. It's just fabulous! Oh, those sines and cosines. How can someone remember all of them? What a complex algebra. Here's an idea, a mug for memorizing formulas. You need a white mug without drawings and a black acrylic contour. Apply the formulas to the surface of the cup. Let them dry. With this life hack, you can combine pleasant stuff with useful stuff. For example, drinking tea with learning math. And if these complex formulas still don't want to stay in your head, you need a backup. Let's make a cheat sheet in an eraser holder. Take the eraser out of the holder. Roll the sheet with formulas into a tube. Hide it inside. The tip is easily pulled out and does not draw unnecessary attention. Let's make a stand for our textbook from the materials on hand. You need a large photo frame. Take out the back of the frame. Stretch a bright elastic band from both sides of the back. Attach it with hot glue. Place the pages of the textbook under the rubber bands. Install the stand with the book on the foot. 
It's now easier and more pleasant to do homework, and the complex grammar suddenly becomes a little easier. For the next life hack, you need a piece of bubble film. Cut off a strip from it. Let's decorate it with emoji stickers. Cut out the emoji and attach them to the bubbles. Such a fun strip can be used not only as a bookmark, but also as a fun anti-stress. You just feel like you need to press on this funny face. Let's surprise our friends with the original design of drawing crayons. You need wax crayons and a pack of chewing gum. Get the gum out of the package. Light the tip of the crayon and fill the package with wax drops. A pencil in the form of chewing gum is not only stylish, but also very convenient. After all, your hands remain clean after drawing. Press like on this video and subscribe to Troom Troom Select. And don't forget to click on the bell. The new videos will come out very soon.